Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that's another sweet creation by one of my viewers. Friends, it's time for a designer shout out. So let's get cracking. That you can grab and scale. So if I grab this dinosaur, I can hold shift and shrink them. There were several parts back in the day that you could bring in from the Tinkercad shape library, and they were not adjustable. So being able to adjust these makes it a lot more fun for you to build and assemble. So Alex brought in all of these new characters and then added some of his own cool things. I gave you a lesson where we created an eyeball. So this elephant is a shape generator elephant, but he used our code block eyeball as a part to add them in. These sweet little guys are also characters are created in code blocks and Alex is using them as a part. Alex designed this base just having a ton of fun and putting all the pieces in it. There are so many fun details in this project and things he combined. So inside here the stairs were part of Tinkercad but he added all the outside. He also made these custom embattlements that you see right here. You can see our old favorite Astrobot is down here. I'm going to click on him and use the sweet fit view to jump down to where he is. You can see that they are all oriented in cool different ways. I'm going to choose hide to get inside this building real quick and let me show you what he's got in here. I'm going to hide this word lab real quick. Let's hide this roof really quick so we can look around. You can see he's got species Elvis. He's also got species human and he's also got species cat. Let's zoom in on one of these. Let's use F which is the shortcut for fit view to zoom in and see how awesome these little cats are. So if you've never seen these cool shapes, they're down here on the shape library. When you visit the shape library, you start in the creatures and characters, and you can see there are several awesome ones, and you can see that there are three pages of them to pick from. If we switch to vehicles and machines, you can see there are cool tires, the dragster tire, there's all kinds of sweet pieces you can use in here. Let's check out quickly structures and machinery trees, cages, landing pads. You can see these are some of the pieces that were put in this awesome project. I love the eye. That's such a creative little piece to be adding on. And that's what I like most is that Alex was just having a ton of fun as he built this. If we go down to materials for making, these are things you could have in your house. Um, if you look at popular, it shows you the normal ones like a pencil, a cardboard tube. You could actually create a virtual plan for something you actually built using pieces like this. I'm going to switch to hardware. You can see that there are pieces that you could use to assemble things, pieces that will snap together if you 3D print them. Let's go down to electronics, some interesting things you could bring in, circuits. Below that, we've got playthings and fun. These were the original parts that were in Tinkercad. They are not scalable, and I think it's because they're so complex. You can also see there are many pages that you can play with. Below that, we've got learning items. We've got the solar system, a chalkboard, a ruler, which is really cool. And below that, we have got everyday objects. Just fun things you can add to your projects. There is a lot of fun also on the outside of the base. If you look behind the trees, there is also a sweet little secret village. How cool is that? I will have a link to Alex's Tinkercad profile in the description so you can click it, check it out, leave a comment, give him a like, and let him know you appreciate his work as well. So my friends, the moral of the story is when you play with Tinkercad, make sure you have a ton of fun, explore. There are so many things you can use Tinkercad for, whether you're creating 3D designs, playing with circuits, or code blocks. There is a ton for you to learn and enjoy. Lastly, if you make something awesome, don't forget, you can always hit send to, scroll down, and invite people. I cannot generate a link, but if this was my project, you generate a link, you simply copy it, and then if you're trying to contact me, you can find me at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. If you were looking for me on Twitter, I am HLTinkerCad. One other fantastic thing about sharing with me is now there is a built-in messaging. So even if you don't want me to showcase your design, you can show me what you created, and then of course I can leave you a note like, OMG, 
that is awesome and it even works if you're both in the project at the same time you could leave notes for each other when you're done with the notes you just hit delete and they're gone and last but not least friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day